Hey guys, I'm Lucas and welcome to KNews episode 67 about the launch of Orbital ADK's Pegasus rocket. Pegasus is named after the winged horse in Greek mythology. Half rocket, half plane, it would stand 17.6 meters tall but is mounted horizontally below its carrier aircraft, a Lockheed TriStar. The rocket will launch in its XL setup weighing a little over 23 tons. In case you wonder how that compares with the plane's capability, an average TriStar can lift off with up to 100 metric tons of payload, which includes cargo and fuel, doubling the plane's dry mass. However, it can only land with up to 50 tons of cargo, so in case of a failed launch attempt, the plane must be able to land back at the launch site without releasing the rocket, even if an engine fails on the plane. Now Pegasus itself consists out of three solid fuel stages, from which only the first one has wings and control surfaces attached. On top, or in this case in front, is a constellation of eight microsatellites, the so-called Cyclone Global Navigation Satellite System or SIGNS for short. The launch is scheduled for today, 1319 UTC and will take place as mentioned near Cape Canaveral. The plane will take off in advance of course and deliver the rocket to an altitude of 12.4 km. Pegasus will then be released at T0 and drop by 100 meters over the next 5 seconds before its main engine starts. Just by the way, the solid motor has no engine gimbaling and the rocket is steered using its control surfaces alone. These will pitch the rocket up to get into its ballistic trajectory as quick as possible. Every second counts because it loses performance during this maneuver. The first stage will burn out after only 1 minute and 17 seconds into the flight and the second stage will ignite after a short coasting time of 10 seconds, in which the rocket will increase its altitude from 50 to 70 km. The second stage will then go on on a ballistic trajectory for a little longer than a minute before it also burns out. Followed by that is the longest coasting phase of approximately 4 minutes in which the upper stage will head for its apoapsis at 500 km. The 8 second satellites were meanwhile exposed as deferring jettisoned. These are all exact copies of each other and will fly in the same orbit one after another. Unlike the name Cyclone Global Navigation Satellite System indicates, these won't be used for navigation purposes however. Instead, the constellation will use GPS in a very unique way to take a look inside hurricanes and other cloud formations. While regular satellites can take images of the uppermost cloud layer, it gives very little clues about how strong a storm really is. There is no exact data about the surface winds below the clouds and the rain as long as the storm is over the ocean. This resulted in a highly underestimated hurricane in 2005 for example, called Katrina. What the relatively small satellites do is as mentioned use GPS in a very unique way. They not only have antennas pointing up, but also pointing towards the ground. The GPS signals are emitted from much higher orbits and not only hit the surface, but also a fraction of them bounces back to space. As you might have guessed, the satellites now record both signals and scientists on ground can compare them. Such a reflection contains information about the ground and what the scientists are looking for are ripples on the ocean's surface caused by winds. Different wind speeds cause different ripples, thus a different GPS reflection. Having a detailed map of the wind speeds on the surface before a storm hits land is key to give better predictions about its strength and ultimately saves lives. Once the upper stage reaches almost 500 km, it will ignite and hopefully boost its payload on a circular orbit. All this is calculated precisely, but there is always a margin of error based on the solid motor's performance. Once hopefully in orbit, the upper stage will coast for another minute before it starts to release the satellites in pairs. Now in the end a little shout out to my patrons who support my monthly crowdfunding campaign. Thanks a lot guys and if you want to contribute as well, simply follow the link in the description. Okay, that shall conclude episode 67 and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.